Welcome to this Goldilocks Productions presentation. Before we begin the show, let's go over quick guidelines. Callers, if you would like to get on air to ask the show host a question, please press 1. All those callers that do not press 1 and any blocked phone numbers, unlisted phone numbers, and Skype callers whose phone numbers do not show up on the switchboard, you will be in listen mode only. It is not mandatory that the show hosts bring on callers. So please keep your questions to one question only and be mindful and respectful of the other callers that are calling in and of the show host as well. If you have any issues or any problems, Um, and even any compliments or testimonials, please contact the Goldilocks Productions show producer and owner at the email of goldilocksproductions at hotmail.com. Again, that email is goldilocks with a Y, goldilocksproductions at hotmail.com. Thank you. Now on with the show. Enjoy this Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Joyful Finding Show with your host, Melissa Parks. Awesome. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Joyful Findings, the show, everybody. Um, As soon as I just started talking, I started to get goosebumps. So very powerful energy going on today, and I'm here to share that with all of you. Um, it's exciting because it's funny. We had technical difficulties last week, and, and that, I think that all happens for a reason. You know, I needed to refocus, and you all needed to refocus. We all needed to refocus um, to get us right on the right track. So if you felt like you took a sidestep in the last week or so or things kept getting in your way and not letting you go to where you thought you should be going or what you needed to accomplish, just know that everything is still happening in divine time. And I struggle with that a little bit because I'm still human, too, and I'm sure you guys are feeling this, too. You know, we expect things to work out that way, this way, whatever, and sometimes it just does not. So it's like go with the flow and everything will be all right. I have to remind you that everything's going to be all right. Everything's happening for a reason. Everything is all good, really, if you really think about it. Everything that you need to be taken care of is being taken care of. We are letting go of more of those fears. We are starting to move forward in much more of our power um, and feeling really good about ourselves. Um, And really, um, I've noticed a lot of different changes in actually some of my friends and some of my Facebook friends that I've been watching for a while and how they're all becoming a lot more kinder. Um, This is really making me very joyful and happy. So the energies that are taking place, and I also want to say happy October since we didn't miss, I missed that last week. So happy October. It's a month of magical creatures. That's what the messages were going to be last week. Um, it was funny because I sat down to do my automatic writing before the show, before I knew that we had technical difficulties, and my unicorn showed up, and then I was seeing all these dragons in the sky. So I feel like they're all making themselves present. Present. Everyone has one. Just tap into that. Feel it. Um, don't be afraid. Um, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. And I don't know if they're coming in all this month because, you know, it's Halloween and it's more acceptable. And I noticed more people are open to Halloween, too. So it's just like be open to that. So I had to reach out to, to my um, unicorn communicator um, because there is such a thing. People do communicate with unicorns. So I, re- I reached out to her and my purple unicorn had turned into blue. So blue now is about, you know, about for me, it's going to be my throat chakra. OK, it was also about me resting and things of that sort, too, which I ended up doing last week. So. I should tap in with her this week to find out how my unicorn is doing. But anyways, that's that's just a lot of fun. And I think we all need to start start really thinking outside the box. So some of the things I say when I talk about the dragons or the unicorns and all that stuff, some of you think I might be straight out of my mind. But really, I'm not. I mean, I I was you once, you know, way back when before I started believing in all this stuff again because that was part of what was taken away from us. So let's bring that back. And that gives me lots of goosebumps as I say that because it was like I was harnessing them in, bringing them in with this really, really big hug. 
um, because we enjoy them. We want to remember who we really are. It's, uh, it's just amazing stuff. And all that's transpiring now is all the rest of this year is we're just got to keep moving forward, people, okay? It's like whatever your end goal is, just keep moving forward. Even if you get tired, just please keep moving forward a little bit because that's going to help us all in the long run, okay? Because I know we're all getting a little exhausted and stuff, but it's like we're in that last push now. So it's like you're helping your fellow man. You're helping you. Um, it's amazing the, the, the little visuals that they give me, you know, because I see a bunch of these waves going out and touching everyone and connecting everyone, and really everyone's coming on to the same page. So maybe people beside you or whatever might need some of your help. You know, just go with the flow, whatever you're called to do, whatever you feel like you need to do. Don't do it out of obligation. Don't feel like you're doing it out of obligation because someone tried to manipulate you into doing it. Do it from your heart. This is about us really opening up that heart chakra, that soul center, and really letting it shine. And really right now as I do that, imagine your heart chakra right in the center of your chest starting to vibrate out these beautiful rays of rainbow colors of blues and greens and violets and all the rainbow colors and just see them shining out and touching everything because I have to tell you I've been paying attention to the sun now for months and I know I probably got a lot to say I feel like I missed you guys um so I've been paying attention to the sun a lot so if you guys are friends with me on Facebook you like come be my friend over there because I post all my pictures there um And I've been noticing that we've had these rainbow colors around the sun and these beautiful rays that are coming out from the sun, too. It's like it's really starting to break through. I'm going to call it the matrix because we're starting to see, oh, my God, I just got used to it. So we're starting to really get through this matrix. So just know that all the hard work that you guys have been doing is really starting to pay off, okay, because I feel like we're really pulling back that screen. We're really starting to open up and see what's going on in this world and really opening up our heart centers. And really, I want you guys to really tap in and feel that energy that's flowing from me right now because I have goosebumps from head to toe. And it's like 90 outside in Florida right now. And I am sitting outside in my lanai. So it's like goosebumps on top of goosebumps. So feel that energy, feel that love, feel that vibration, and, and know that everything that you're doing is truly making a difference. And this just brings so much joy from the other side and your angels, your guides, your loved ones. It's just so much fun. I'm just so excited to be back today and to share all these beautiful messages with you. And I feel like I'm going to be all over the place as I talk to you guys, and I am going to start taking some calls, but I feel like what I had to say was important, and it always feeds into whatever we're going to be talking about today. So I can't wait to hear what some of these questions are. I'm so excited to hear what you guys have um, to say today. So by that, we'll start with my first caller calling in from area code 218. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Your name and where are you from? Uh, Samora, and I'm from Minnesota. Hi, Samora from Minnesota. How can I help you today? Um, I would like to know what the best um, thing for me and my boyfriend to do now. Because I feel like since I graduated, I've just been like, shell shocked because I like oh I don't know what to do now I don't know all my purposes you know what I mean so I'm just like taking a little break but now we're thinking about doing like the seasonal job here um and I'm not sure if WV would be a good one or Veil would be I'm not sure what would be best and what how that's going to work out with which one's the best for us I don't know okay I'm just so (laughs) <laughs> okay well it's okay because I can feel you don't have to make up your mind right away okay is what I'm getting um here's the thing it's like you guys have this list because I see like you both have these two lists and I see them side by side right and you have these things that you want to check off on the list so now you have to take those two lists that you guys are looking to do because I feel like it will be seasonal I feel like you guys are going to be like um, be bopping back and forth, which is way cool um, because it's going to give you the freedom that you want. But now it's like I see, still see you guys holding up two lists. Like you're holding up, you each have a clipboard with a list on it. <laughs> it's so cute. And um, so it's like you have to go by the checklist, whatever you guys have, because you guys will make the right decision. Um, I feel like this is something that you have to feel within your heart. And they show me that there's a little bit imbalance. So one will outweigh the other once you check your chest list. Does this make sense? Yeah. 
Okay, it does awesome. make sense. Yeah, because um, I see each of you each holding that board, that clipboard, and going, well, I want these things, and I want these things. So you guys have to put your list together. <laughs> Even though you guys are verbally talking about it, it's good to see it written out and then see how they weigh out, because one definitely weighs more than the other. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is there anything that spirit that I need to know? Um, they're liking that you're actually taking this downtime right now. Um, because this is like the downtime before you get busy again. So do all the things that you have not done while you were so busy all the time, because I feel like you're busy. You had a very set routine, right? So uh, now the routine has been chopped up a little bit and you don't know what to do with that time that you were using for schooling or whatever you were doing. And now it's like, do something else. Where, where's your heart calling you? That's what you're supposed to be doing right now. And everything's going to fall into place because they show me it's like, it's almost like climbing a rock wall. It's kind of funny, but everything that you need to get to the top is right in front of you, and the and the lead shows up exact, as soon as you need it. Okay. Thank you. You need to take a deep breath. Right. Can I? Can you take a deep breath for me? Yeah. All right. Great. Okay, because this causes a little anxiety in you, so we have to, like, remove that off your shoulder because I felt like that was a heavy weight somewhere. So we're, we're removing that so you can move forward with all these, like, um... and it's funny because the confusion is, like, kind of moving forward with the blinders on, right? I feel like we are, we're all walking forward right now with these beautiful blindfolds on so that we can't see where we're going. They want us to feel it. And I feel like you're really starting to tap into more energy. So be aware of everything that's going on around you. That's what your angels want to say. And Archangel Michael says you need to have a conversation with him. I think there's meditation or you're doing some automatic writing or something because I see there's a two-way communication there. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I, I've been like, I've tried it before to do it and meditate and then I keep telling myself I'm going to meditate today but for some reason I don't ever like do it because it's I just like am so tense so I'm like I can't do it I can't do it today I'm too tense so okay well and I'm we like, just remove like, we okay awesome we just removed yeah, that so tension from you because now Archangel Michael's showing me the connection will be easier so try meditating before the day is through Okay. And then I had a dream that I'm supposed to be buying some cards, some tarot cards. And it, I was just like, it was kind of cool, but also like, I'm kind of scared because I don't want to like open any freaky doors. Like, I just want the good things, you know? Like, okay, I still perfect. Like... Perfect. I can help you with this. So go to a place where they sell a bunch of cards, right? I always like to put up protection first. I like to picture myself like Glenda the Good Witch and the Wizard of Oz, you know, protecting myself. We can see out. People can see in, but the negativity has to stay out. And how I picked out mine is I went to the bookstore, and I stood there, and I scanned every card with all my eyes, with only my eyes. I didn't pick anything up yet. I just kept scanning, scanning, scanning. And my eyes kept bringing that, me back to my, my very first deck, which was Archangel cards. So it was like that's and my eyes kept telling me that was the one. It kept popping out. So pay attention to what pops out at you, and that will be the correct one. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Awesome. You're welcome. And have fun with that. And thanks for calling in today. Mm hmm Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. Oh, everybody, feel <clears throat> the love, the energy, and the vibration. <clears throat> Everything... You know, even I was feeling a little bit confused yesterday because I called into a radio show yesterday, too. I called into Laura's show, um, Angels and Healing, you know, to ask a question because even sometimes I have questions. So we all have questions, people. Um, you know, sometimes we have a harder time figuring it out. And I was told to actually go sit and meditate and talk with Mother Mary. Um, and I did do some of that. I didn't do nearly as much as I should, and I will do more. Um, life gets busy when you have kids and stuff. But it's like, you know, we have to make that little bit of carve out that little chunk of time for ourselves, whether it's 10, 15 minutes. I like to try to do it before bedtime because then I know the kids are in bed. I can, you know, have my quiet time or even first thing in the morning before they even start their day. So we can carve out some time. We just have to allow ourselves to do that, you know, and really start to open up and do that. <laughs> 
Woo! Yes, Mother Mary is making her round. And which is wonderful because she's opening a lot up to a lot of people. Well, she's always been open to a lot of people. Now it's we, the people, are actually opening up back to the spirits, Mother Mary. There's a lot of that going on right now. So this is very exciting that you're really starting to connect with a lot of your angels, guides, ascended masters, goddesses, gods, whatever you're, you're connecting to. Because I connect on so many different levels. They're just like, bing, 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 bing. You know, it's like it's just everything. Just connect with everything. That's how we're supposed to really understand everything. And I guess my understanding of that is trying to explain that to you so you can start to connect on all of it, too. And don't forget, we are still humans, so we're still learning things. But we can start to handle these things a lot better. We can start to not react so much. You know, and I'm not even going to use myself as an example last night. Um, because last night, um, the boyfriend came in. He was kind of grouchy from work. And then I was kind of tired. And then it started off this little fit spat. So, you know, we took, you know, a half hour break. He went and took a shower. I went and sat outside. We came back together and we're like, all right, let's reboot. We did not handle that right. You know, and that was really big on both of our parts to recognize that we both had to, like, kind of go, all right, that didn't work for us. Let's try something different. And that's really huge for my boyfriend because he's not nearly as, as advanced as I am because he's not chosen not to wake up as fast. But let me tell you, I think he's waking up really fast now, which is amazing. I'm excited for everyone. So if he can wake up, everybody can wake up, people. So it's like all the people around you are starting to sense things differently. And they just send out lots of love as I just say that because it's like these waves. They keep showing me waves, waves and waves and waves. So just get on the wave and float with it. Get on the surfboard, whatever you need to get yourself around. Just have fun with that. I'm so excited. And it looks like my next caller is calling from area code 203. Hi, this is Michelle from California. Hi, Michelle from California. How can I help you today? Hi, um, I'm trying to make some changes um, that will make me happier. And uh, I was thinking of trying for a job out in Arizona so that I'd be closer to my daughter. She's going to school out there. So um, I sent out some resumes yesterday, and I was wondering if you saw me um, getting something out there. You want to know what's really funny? So, um, yeah, actually, I feel like you are going to get something out there because as you were asking your question, I wrote your name, I wrote California, then I wrote this arrow moving to the right. So (laughs) where's Arizona? To the right. So, yes. And then it said changes. So, yes, I'm getting like, yes, yes, yes. Can you feel that? It was like, you've been asking for this change for a really long time. It just didn't fall into place until now. Like, now is like the perfect time. And I have goosebumps as I was telling you that. So, I hope you feel that energy that's coming through right now. But, yes, this is going to work out for you. (laughs) And you're going to get the job you really want. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, that's. That's always a question because some of these, all these jobs in the engineering field are very different sometimes. They, they ask you to do some pretty hefty things, and it's like, whoa, I don't know if I can do that, you know. So it's always a wonder whether you're going to be successful or not. But there was this job, and let me ask you this um, um, she's going to school way on top of the mountain. It's a, it's north of Phoenix. And I saw this one job, like 30 minutes from where she's going to school, way up on the mountain. And I said, what the heck? It was some job that I do doing up there. You know, like, what's it up doing way up on the mountain? And so I applied for it. Um, and I was wondering if you saw me maybe getting that job or one down in Phoenix. Um, well, I feel like, I feel like you're going to get the one that's north of Phoenix, the one that you were just talking about, um, because they showed me one, two, three, four, five, we got 10, I just drew two, 10 arrows. It's it's the first they drew an arrow into uh, above North Phoenix. And then there were 10 of them. So for me, that would turn into a one. So I feel like that's where you're going to start. And then they wrote 30 minutes under that. And then they wrote a heart. So I feel like you're going to get the one that's in Phoenix. 
or North Phoenix, because I feel like you're going to be closer to your daughter because that's what you really want, desire, you know, and that's yeah. really going to give you that, um, that's really going to give you that um, change of scenery. It's going to give you that yeah. winter time, you know, and you could just head down south a little bit if you need to thaw out a little bit. <laughs> Wow. So so it's it's in Arizona, not in Colorado yeah. or something. Definitely in no. Arizona. No. And you think it's yeah. gonna be that area up on the mountain? Yes, I do. I do wow. feel like it's gonna be up on the mountain. Yeah, they want me to draw a and triangle I, now. So yes. <laughs> so that means it's a that's a good that's a good job for me, I guess. Yes, it is. And then you can try to decide if that's where you stay. I feel like it's a landing point because you're going to yeah. keep expanding once your daughter finishes college or school or whatever. Then it's like, where do you go from <laughs> there? You know what I mean? So it's like you got yeah. free reign after that. So True. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Wow. So it's a, it's a landing pad. <laughs> oh, I, 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 that's fantastic. So, do you see me getting that relatively soon, or are we talking next year? Or no, I feel I just like it's my resume. I feel like I feel like it's by the end of the year. I feel like you are you managed to wrap this all up by the end of the year. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, so just believe that it's going to happen that way, and then things will just fall into place. Wow! Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's just like, There's much you know, excitement like, like on the other tear. side for you. What's that? What did you just say? Oh, I didn't hear what you said. I, I, said, oh, I was just, just going to say that. I was just yeah. going to say that the job just like strangely appeared. It's like, what the heck is this job doing way up there? And I said, it's actually Here's something I might thing. like doing. Here's the funny thing. <laughs> Nothing strange ever really happens. It just kind of like pops up where it needs to. It's just like when I'm watching the news, I don't watch the news. I scroll through my Facebook. But if it's something important, it scrolls in front of me. And sometimes I don't know how it ends there. I don't like their page, but you know, but it's like everything that we need to know will flow in front of us, whether we are looking for it or not. So that's fantastic. Your angels are working with you, girl. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else I need to know other than no? That just is, believe in your nope. believe in yourself and move forward. They said they're giving you a nice pat on the back because you're doing a great job. Oh, you're wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Awesome. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you. Bye bye. Awesome. <laughs> I tell you what, the energy is so awesome, people. I can feel that great things are really starting to open up for people. And nothing is a coincidence, okay? You know, just like my last caller where this job showed up in, you know, whatever profile she was looking for for jobs, the spirit is going to put things in front of you that you need to see, okay? Once we really start paying attention, you start noticing that more and more of these things show up so that we can get the signs and the symbols that we're looking for. That's why I'm always saying, you know, look at the signs as you're driving. What are they saying to you? What are the license plates? What are those numbers saying? And I just saw a few yellow butterflies. That's awesome. So, you know, there's lots of beautiful change that's happening, and it's bright because those, be- those beautiful butterflies I just saw were beautiful yellow, bright like the sun. So there's these beautiful changes. Oh, they're going to keep coming back. So just imagine all these butterflies around you all. All this change is starting to happen, and really – Woo, it's so exciting. So, 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 so exciting. You know, and all the things that are taking place in our lives, we have to really start believing and getting rid of whatever fears might still be blocking us, okay? Because I recognized that last week, too. I'm like, I thought I was over that. You know, I thought I was over that 50 times already. But it's like, I know I have to learn it one more time. And then, you know, it's let it go. Just let it go and let it go, let it go. And see, now they're making me all hot. So I hope you guys are feeling the hot energy that they're flowing through now. It's to help clear out those old fears. It's to help release whatever no longer serves us for our highest and best. And allowing us to move forward with grace and love in our heart. Um, and they've been talking about that a lot lately. You know, I did a meditation last week, and they were talking about grace and, you know, love and moving forward and all this stuff. 
And what does that mean for you? I think you all should tap into that a little bit and see what that means for you. Um, and feel the energy and the vibration of our higher selves, our loved ones, everyone that's working with us, because not one of us is alone, which is so much fun, too. All right, awesome. So now we'll go to my next caller, area code 720. Hello. Hello. Hey, <clears throat> my name is Lily. Riley? Yes. Okay, Riley. Um, Where are you calling from? No, Lily with the L. Oh, Lily. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Lily. Where are you calling from? From Colorado. All right. How can I help you today? Um, I'm just wondering what you see me doing. I I'm a I'm in kind of transition, but I'm I'm a little bored with it, if that makes sense. Okay. You're a little bored with the transition you're in? Yeah, like I or you're bored I to to do it, All but right. then I get there and I'm a little like I'm a little bored with it to be honest with you already. Okay, and you haven't been there very long. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. What I'm seeing for you. Okay, because it's almost like you know you're going to get bored going into the next one. It's like it has all the right – this is what they're showing me. It, they're showing me it has, like, all the right things that you want, but not enough – I don't know. You're, you're not stimulated enough, I feel. Okay? So what is it that's going to stimulate you more so that you don't become bored? Okay? Because I feel like you've got to reach outside the box you're in right now. That's what they kind of showing me. You're reaching outside the box and you're pulling yourself towards whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know why you're pulling yourself, but that's what they're showing me. Huh. What is okay. it you desire to do? Um, there's a couple different avenues, basically. So it just is not enough for me, to be honest with you. So just seeing what you pick up. You know. Okay, well, what I'm getting is you need to write all your desires down, okay? Because I feel like there's a mixture of three, okay? Um, because they're showing me this triangle, and the triangle's kind of upside down. So the two at the top of the triangle that are going down into the center point have a lot to do that go feeding into what one main purpose. So I'm feeling like you can take all three of these things and incorporate them into one that gives you enough passion and drive to be able to move forward. Because it's like you have these, it's almost like show me in, you in front of like a drawing board. Like if I was in front of a whiteboard or a chalkboard or something, they want you to actually kind of draw that and draw the triangle. Draw the, and it's turning into, um, it's actually turning into sacred geometry as I draw on. Draw the triangle upside down. Draw a circle on each of those three points. And then see what goes from there. Because it's almost like they're cracking you open. There's something you have yet to explore is what I'm feeling. Huh. You're right with because the three. They still, yeah. So it's like you got to put them together, though. You got to see how they blend. Well, so I'll tell you. It's counseling. It's teaching. And then it's medical. Those three things. Okay. Well, then design your thing. Create that. Yeah. Yeah. Create that, okay. and then you just gotta start doing it in all your local places. You know what I mean? Because I feel right. like you're ready to do that. You're ready to jump outside that box. That's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. Right. Right. Okay. So, so now okay. just create it and make it happen. All right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you calling in today. All right. Awesome. Bye. Hey. Awesome. See, people, there's lots of exciting changes happen. If what you're looking for is not out there, create it, okay? It's just like me creating it, okay? Like, I, I didn't know I was going to be a psychic, okay? It just kind of happened later in life, and I guess somewhere in my soul contract I knew that, but I didn't remember until my 40s, okay? Um, and then it's like the universe kind of made it, so that was like my full-time job because it got rid of my, you know, my other full-time job, so that this was my only job, and, you know, and then this led into me doing radio because I knew I had to start sharing my information with all of you. And how can I start touching all of you if you guys are not in my space in Sarasota? 
So I have to, to reach out, right? So I'm creating that. And as, I don't know why that's making me harsh, but that's funny. So it's like now I'm sharing all that with you out that way. And now I'm also a teacher because I teach classes or, you know, meditations or whatever. It's like what are we creating for ourselves to bring in that income that we desire, okay? Because we don't have to work for somebody else. If you desire to create your own, then do that. If you want to work for the company that's, you know, X, Y, and Z to you, then do that wherever your heart and your passion lies, right? Um, so it's like you're cre- the creator, the master creator right now. I feel like I have to remind you of all this. You are the master creator of what is being created now. So enjoy that, and let's see where we all go. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. And you all should be excited about this, too, because what, what are you going to create? You're going to create stuff that's good for you, not bad for you, right? If you're still creating stuff that's bad for you, you might want to sit back a little bit and think about it for a minute and go, what do I really, really, really want? And really open up that heart chakra and really open up to your highest and best desires and what you're here for, you know, because it happens on so many different levels. And it's so funny when they show me these levels because they're like imaginary to me, but I see it as like, you know, if you could look out and you just see these different layers right in front of you, it's all right there in front of you. Um, I just want you all to tap in and feel that, which is woohoo, exciting. I'm excited. It looks like I have another caller. We are busy with callers today. I appreciate all of you calling in. This is so exciting. And this area code is 541. Hi there. Hi. Your name and where are you calling from? This is Camille calling you from Oregon. All right, Camille from Oregon. How can I help you today? Oh, yes, just like some insight into my relationship with Josh. All right, hold on a second. Okay. Can you say your name one more time? Camille. Thank you. Okay, so have you guys been dating a while? Almost one year. Okay. Do you want it to go further than this? Yes. Okay. Because the first thing they said is, don't rush it, okay? Because I feel like you're in a hurry all of a sudden. Um, they just kind of want you to go with the flow and where it's going. The, and I feel like you guys are having conversations about it moving forward because and I feel like they're small little conversations. Like, they're only like, um, you know, I don't know. It's like you bring it up and maybe he doesn't talk about it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I feel like there are conversations that are taking place with you all. Um, that will help that move forward. But they, the first thing they said was don't rush it, just go with the flow. Um, and it's not a bad thing because it's like, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know what to, how to explain it, but it doesn't feel like it's a race, if that makes sense. But I feel like yeah. you guys get along really, really well. I feel like you guys are very, very honest with each other. Um, I feel like you're helping him break out of a shell or something that he was in. Um, when you met him, he's become comfortable mm-hmm. with you. He feels more open about sharing his past existence with you um, without judgment. So it's helping him clear a lot of um, past stuff. Um, and it's also helping you to clear a lot of stuff that you were holding on to, too. So what they show me is, like, this is helping you guys really get rid of some old stuff so you can move forward on, like, this new, um, new journey. You know what I mean? Because it's almost like you get rid of all the old stuff and it opens up these new doors to the new stuff. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's like you guys got to clear that stuff up first. But I don't feel like you guys are breaking up. So the inside is just keep moving forward and keep standing in your truth. And without judgment, because I feel like you've done all that work. You got rid of all that judgment stuff. You carried that for a long time and you decided it didn't work for you one day and you just got rid of it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Huh. Yeah, we right? had made plans to um it would have been easier for everyone for him to move in in November, but that plan has fallen through. So Well yeah, because um, it's not time yet. Of course, yeah, it's really not. So I just said, Okay, of course. I mean I'm not I'm not gonna argue with it. I just accept that situation. Period. You know, <laughs> I accept that exactly. situation. But, exactly. yeah, it's been a tough, like, several days. I don't know why. I'm just 
focused on this, so I need to shift focus or something. Yeah, shift the focus is everything happens in divine time, and this wasn't the divine time. Because whatever the okay. circumstances is of why he can't move in in November um, is, is, an, is significant. So pay attention to that. That's his problem, not yours. Yes. Okay, but you're taking it on Thank as you so yours. much. You're welcome. Yeah, awesome. and I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Okay, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thanks for calling in. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Awesome. I just love all you callers calling in and letting me tap into your energy. It's, it's, I love it when you allow me through the barriers. You know, it's funny because as I was driving one of the kids to school this morning, you know, I was thinking, you know, because it's funny how I just like connect in to people. And it doesn't matter if you're in front of me or you're wherever you are. It's kind of like, you know, I just plug into your electricity because we're all energy, right? You know, so it's like kind of me taking a plug and sticking it in your energy. Like if we had an outlet in the wall, like we plug in our computers or whatever else we have to charge. It's like I tap in for that moment. And then as soon as we disconnect, I disconnect. As soon as I'm done using it, I unplug. So if you feel like you, because I feel like a lot of people are really starting to open up and stuff and you feel like you're connected to everyone and you feel like you have to share every bit of information that's flowing out of you and through you. Um, I, I just disconnect, okay, because not everyone wants to hear um, our messages unsolicited sometimes, which I learned a long time ago. To me, I call this psychic etiquette. Either, whether they ask, I ask politely if they allow me to tell them, if they keep pestering me in the head. But don't, don't feel like you have to verbal diarrhea on people if you all of a sudden feel like you have to tell them this, that, and the other thing. Um, and I also had to learn that, you know. So everything that I teach you guys is all stuff that I've always I've already had to learn. So I I appreciate that I'm able to share my experiences with all of you and to help you all get over some of the humps that maybe I've already gone over. Maybe I can help you get over get over them a little quicker. You know, there's amazing things that are taking place in our life right now. You know, and it's just like everything is in divine times, you know. And I say that we're going forward kind of like blindly, you know, because we need to feel it. Does that feel right to us? You know, because sometimes our brain is still um, ingrained with whatever belief system that we brought up with. Um, you know, whether it be religious, our friends, our family, our mother, our father, whoever it might have been. Because we're all so different now. We've changed so much through so many decades that I've even been alive. You know, it's just amazing how fast we're really starting to get it to roll now, okay? And we're learning, you know, that we are taking our control back. We, the people, which is we as individuals, are really starting to take our control back because you can change everything that's happening in your immediate world, okay? That doesn't mean you're going to change the world overnight, but you're going to change your immediate world right around you. The space, I'm going to call it the bubble that you walk around in, okay, because this is your journey. What are you doing in this journey? How are you feeling in this journey? Are you following your heart? Are you still listening to others? Is someone in your bubble saying, do this, do that, and it doesn't feel right to you? Then step back, allow yourself to break free from all of that, and move forward with love and grace. See, there it is again. I knew it was going to come out again. So move forward with love and grace. So it's like, what does that mean for you? I really want you to think about that stuff this week. And, you know, I also want you guys to think about the magical creatures I brought up in the beginning, too, because um, I just saw a bird fly by, which reminded me of my creatures. You know, so because, you know, that could have been a dragon. I don't know. It looked like a bird. I didn't see it specifically. It could have been a tiny one, you know, because they come in all different sizes and shapes. Um, so it's like really start to pay attention to what comes into your mind. What is your imagination bringing you to? What are your dreams telling you? I feel like there's so much communication going on right now. And I feel like some people are blocking it because I feel like my crown's a little blocked as I say that. And my third eye might be a little blocked. So allow yourselves to be able to open up and be able to see these things for yourself with your mind's eye. You don't necessarily have to see them, you know, with our eyes. Like I can see that house across the street, or you would see the car driving by, you know, feel it. What does it look like in your mind's eye? You know, cause sometimes you just see it. If I told you I had walked into a crystal cave, right? Could you imagine what those crystals look like? Ooh, maybe I should take us all into the crystal cave. Let's all go into the crystal cave. Um, you know, and what does this cave look like to you? What kind of stones are you seeing? Are you seeing different crystals? Are you seeing all one? I think this is to help you, I'll help you open up that third eye because that helps open it up. 
um, and make it more expansive for all of you to see and feel more. And I feel like everyone's coming online because they just showed me all these little check marks. So, and it's so funny because in, in the very beginning when I did my automatic writing, I usually write something, but they didn't write anything this time um, except for some numbers that I saw before my show started, which was funny because the trash truck drove in front of me. And I saw the number 330, and that's very significant for me because – um, it's my birthday. <laughs> and then it was uh, the number 74. And if you reverse that, that's 47, which is always my other number. You know, so, and then they showed me all these waves taking off from Earth. So I feel like we're all starting to connect to our higher selves. So I feel like you're all connecting, which is way fun. I'm excited about that. And the more that you connect, the better you start to feel. The more you start to get rid of all that old baggage that you might be carrying around or someone else's old baggage that you might be carrying around, it's time to get rid of it. I have another caller. Let's take that at area code 914. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Where are you calling from? <laughs> Hi, it's Katie from New York. Hi, Katie from New York. How can I help you today? Um, hi. I was wondering if you see um, my project with Neil going well, being successful. Okay. Um, actually, it, 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 did it just move forward really fast and then hit a slow spot right now? Yes. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. You're, you're starting to freak out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it, it's okay. It, it has to take that brief period, kind of like I did last week. You know, the universe just says, whoa, slow down here. It's not time yet. So just, just go with the flow of that. Because if you get in your way and get frustrated, you're going to withhold it when it's ready to start to flow again, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you got to get rid of that frustration. Whatever, wherever that comes from, just release it. You know, I don't know. They they say go get a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking of that. <laughs> well, then there you go. They would like you to go get one. It'll help you feel much more relaxed and let that go. And you'll be like, all right. And also, while you're getting your massage, kind of go into like a meditation. Um, they said that's a good time for you to relax. Um. Okay. Oh, this will wow. be quite enjoyable for you. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Slow the monkey mind. Yes. Oh, awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah I just you. feel like you got to let it move forward, girl. Just let it do what it needs to do. Hands off until it's time for it to get going. And... Correct. Yeah. Um... It won't be much time, so don't worry about it. But they're testing your frustration oh. skills right now. Ah. <laughs> so guess. just let it go <laughs> so it opens the door. Oh, okay. I can All right, that. awesome. <laughs> I hope that was helpful for you, Katie. Immensely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you calling in today. I appreciate you, yes, and many blessings. Yes, thank you oh, so much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I awesome, really awesome, awesome. Thank you. Actually, before you go, I got one more thing, because as you just started saying thank you and stuff, they just started drawing a lot of eights, and all the eights started to blend together. So as well as you and me and everyone else that's on the line, just allow it to flow. The universe is really going to make it flow for us. You know, it's just like the eight. All of a sudden, it takes a turn, and we're not sure where it's going. We have to just trust it. They want you to trust, trust, trust. So awesome. Thank you. Woo, woo, that's awesome. So now with all those eights, they really want us to trust in the process, okay? Because, you know, the eight is always going to come back around, right? So allow that for yourselves to start to flow for ourselves. For you, for the people next to you, if you feel like you're blocking other people, get out of their way. Um, if you feel like you know, I feel like we just really have to open, 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 open. And really, as we move forward, there's going to be great joy to be had because they just drew a lot of hearts, one, two, three, four, five. So there's change coming, you know what I mean? And it's all change for love, um, which is very exciting. So pay attention to all the things that are showing up in your life. Pay attention 
to, you know, the things that flow in front of you, whether it's on the internet, the people that show up when you're out in public, it's just amazing that, excuse me, that all the right people show up at just the right time, you know, which is phenomenal. And just know that everything happens for a reason. You may not be able to figure out what that reason is right at that moment, um, but you will. I trust me, you will. It all makes sense. It's like, you know, I talk about finding all these breadcrumbs all our lives and really opening up and putting them all together now. Oh, those breadcrumbs go to this piece, and that makes sense. And then we're putting more of the puzzle together, which is our roadmap, really. They're making us put together our own map so that it makes sense for us as we go along. You know, the map is always there. We're just putting it together as we go along. We're just filling. They just showed me, like, color by number. You know what I mean? So it's like we're coloring it as we go along, as we move along, which is so awesome. So it's like you get to color it whatever color you want. You get to create whatever it is from this day forward, which makes me excited, which makes them excited, which makes the universe excited, which makes this earth exciting. And there's a lot of changes taking place on us, too. So hold the light, people. Hold your light. Let it shine. They show me you all like flashlights right now walking around, you know, so it's like let your light shine. Whatever is dulling it or, you know, turned it off, whatever, turn the switch back on, shine it back up, let it start to shine, and really be who you need to be. And the person you need to be is what you feel inside when you're connected to your higher self, when you connect in with guidance with your angels and guides. And all those above, you know, it's like we're connecting in so much more now, which just excites me and excites them, too, because they want me to draw some more hearts, you know, and it's funny because the more hearts that I draw, the more energy that flows out for me. So, you know, and I just feel like I got they feel like they've been having me talk the whole time, which is awesome, because I feel like the energy that comes out of my vibration of my mouth. And that could be why they also changed my voice today. Um, because maybe I needed a different vibration for you all because we're all connecting into these different vibrations. We're connecting in on so many different levels that it's like some things have to change so that we go to the next level. Um, and I feel like that's where they've taken me today. And I feel like they've taken you with us. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the ride and it's only going to get better here from, from here, people, you know, it's like, if you choose for it to get better, what are those last lessons that you're trying to get over? Get over them now. You know, and I say that like it's easy. And I know it's not. Trust me. Trust me. I know. You know, whether it's frustration about a project not moving or you feel like you're supposed to move yesterday or like me. Okay. Just like when I, okay, I, well, let's go back a few weeks when I was trying to get rid of my rats at my house. Okay. Um, I had like three weeks in a row where they were just not leaving me alone. Um, my landlord finally put me up this nice quarter inch um um, wire fencing on the inside of my lanai where they were breaking in and now they can't get in anymore. So that's exciting. You know what I mean? So it was like everything happens for a reason. And they came into my life to help one, to help me get rid of my lanai two to help me look at my life. So I had to look at things in two n- many different manners. I also had to become friends with the rat, you know, because it was like, they were coming into my house and I was trying to be nice and be like, Hey, you need to build your nest outside somewhere else, whatever. Um, so everything happens for a reason. And sometimes it's not always the best reasons, you know, cause who likes cleaning up after rats every day? Not me. Um, I, it brought me to my breaking point um, at one point, but it was like, I had to look at everything, which helped me look at everything. So I, I thank the rats for their, their intervention in my life to help me recognize other things that I needed to look at in my life that I was not looking at. So everything happens in our life for a reason, which is just phenomenal and just makes up so much fun, so much fun. Oh, and it looks like I have another caller, area code 813. Hey, Melissa, this is Lenka. Oh, Lenka, how are you, dear? How can I help you today? I have a question. I'm not sure how to actually ask for it, but uh, I'm going to try. I exhausted all my uh, options in my situation, and it seems like I need to go back to work. Uh, I need to know, or I would like to know what guys, think about that okay by go back to work to your old job go back to work to a new job being being basically released from a doctor because um there is no you know nothing i can do at this point 
and I need to move ah. forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's time to go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. They're okay. Saying yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and they're actually kind of excited about this. Um, I can't explain <laughs> why right now, but it's so funny because they're, 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 they're like waving two hands at you. Okay. I feel like I'm like the queen or something and I have two hands waving at you, but it's like, they're all doing it to you. And it's like creating this, um, Energy ball is what I'm feeling. I, I, when mm-hmm. I see you, I'll have to show you, or, or I'll just pass the ball to you. I, actually, I'm, toss, I'm tossing it to you now. You can have that. Um, so it's just, yeah, 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 yeah. So is there anything there, I should be aware of? Aware of in what way? Uh, I mean, you know, not to get injured or, you know, get into trouble with my back and, and stuff like this. Okay, well, what they're going to do is, what they're showing me is once you get back into your job, you're going to hold yourself differently. They're mm-hmm. showing me that you're, you're not going to get injured again. What they, the, you're, you're not going to get injured again. Um, okay. But, but I feel like with you going back this time, you actually get more respect from your people. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we shall see. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I got a really uh, strong nudges in that area, so I just wanted a confirmation with you just to be sure. Uh, well, you got it. You got a big, yeah. All righty then. Let's awesome. <laughs> I'll catch you. up with you later this afternoon. Thank I feel you. like we need to talk. But anyway, yes, and I thank you for calling today. Awesome. I appreciate you calling in. You know, and thank also, you. Lanka is an awesome artist. You know, she's right. awesome. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell them again. So you guys can find her link on my, my web page. So when you go to IamMelissaParks.com, you can find Lanka in my favorite links page. Um, so click on that and check out her fabulous artwork because it's sacred geometry. It'll help wake you up and enlighten you and enlighten those around you. So thanks for calling in, Lanka. I love you. Awesome. So I appreciate it when my friends call in, too. I appreciate it when you all call in, which is phenomenal. And look how funny this is. We have repeating numbers going on today. I have another caller from area code 813. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Your name? My name is Sean. Shante, and I want to Hi, know Shante. do you see, see any changes going on around me? I made a lot of changes in my life. Oh, yes, you did, girl. Okay, so what they're <laughs> showing me is, yeah, you just went, you you did fall clean and early is what they showed me. And it's like, mm-hmm. but you, this was something that you had to do because you shoveled yes, a right. lot of the heaviness out because they're showing me, it's kind of like funny because it's like, you know, I, I see like a snow shovel is what they're showing me. So it was like a wide mm-hmm. shovel, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you were just tossing that stuff out over your shoulder. You go, no, no. You're like, this is gone. I don't, no. That's right. <laughs> and with all of that cleaning up that you've done, I see you mm-hmm. in this very shiny space right now. Aww. And in this very shiny space that you're in right now, you're really starting to create from the heart because you knew you had to get rid of all the garbage first right. before you could That's start right. to create. And now it's Absolutely. like you're trying to reinvent yourself is what I'm getting. And I'm mm-hmm. getting goosebumps as I say that. So as you reinvent yourself, you're starting to create more. And they show me you like sculpting. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you're starting off with this fresh piece of clay and you're starting yep. to mold it into this beautiful <laughs> artwork of what you truly <laughs> desire. And it's like this mm-hmm. true masterpiece. And you have to mm-hmm. feel the energy as you're touching and molding the clay and what you're creating. Absolutely. <laughs> you are reading me. <laughs> yes. I I'm in my spirituality. I'm I I got I didn't wait for the universe. I made moves on my own. And I just well, you felt have like to. they were saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I and now to. you're really starting to tap in more because do you feel those goosebumps they just gave me? You feel that yes. energy? <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, now that you feel that, you got to feel that all the time. They're like, this is the right path. Keep going. Keep oh, going that's here. what I wanted to hear was on the that's right path. That's what they're telling you. 
Because <laughs> I keep seeing 444 four, four everywhere I go. 444. Four, four. Yay. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's your guiding, those are your guiding angels going, yes, this is the path. Yes, this is your place. Yes, you belong okay. here right now. Yes. You got keep me going, keep following that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I want to know real quick. I got my son some help. Is he going to be okay after this? My oldest um, son. Your oldest one. It's going to be his choice son. still. Yeah, I'm tapping okay. into that. It's still, it's still going to be his choice, but you mm-hmm. being more spiritual now and opening mm-hmm. up more is going to help him. So you just okay. keep talking about love and vibration and energy because um, mm-hmm. I feel like something's going to click, okay? But it has to come okay. from you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense because that's, that's all I talk about is my spirituality. I'm, I, that's all I'm into. I'm addicted to it, meditation, okay, good, all because, of that. Good, mm-hmm. because you need to keep talking about it to everybody, your children, your parents, whoever, okay. because you're helping wake them up. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the clarity you just gave me. Oh, you're so welcome. I appreciate you calling in today. (laughs) You have a blessed day. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. You too. Thanks. Awesome. As I get ready to wrap up my show today, I appreciate each and every one of you for calling in today. I appreciate you tapping in and listening now or if you listen to it when it's archived. The energy will be important, just as important then as it is now. Um, Everything is done vibrationally. I feel like that's why you guys feel such a connection. That's why everyone's starting to wake up more. So it's so exciting. So, again, the ways to find me are you can find me on my website. I am MelissaParks.com. You can reach me by phone at 941-266-9250. And, again, if you're in Sarasota, Florida, you can find me at Wild Ginger Apothecary three times a week. Um, And many more things that will be going on this month. Also, on um, I think it's October 25th or 26th, whatever that Friday night is, um, we'll be at the Crystal Cave doing on Fruitville Road doing a psychic fair, which will be fun at night, 5 to 9. So come dressed up in your favorite costume, which is really, really exciting. I'm not sure what I'm dressing up as yet, but we'll figure it out. But like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you for calling in, tapping in, being a part of our lives because we're all connected, being a part of this earth, this universe, this solar system, and on and on and on. I can keep going and going and going. You know, so I am very, very happy that to tell you that I will be back next week um, and we will be talking about whatever spirit thinks I need to talk about next week because a lot of things happen to me in a week. So I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll tap in with you next Wednesday. Have a very blessed and loved week. Peace out.